around. Andre just, uh, we talked to him a little bit before the game and he was really wishing he was out here. It was a play Gary against the Vancouver BC squad last weekend where he was going up to get a jump ball, but the guy's foot came through and Hyper extended his thumb, pushed it back. And I just can't imagine he'd heard a pop even, Gary. Oh, that's scary anytime you hear a pop. Yeah, he thought he broke it. And he said that the doctor looked at it when he got back into, into Vancouver here. And we'll see what happens. But our fingers are crossed, as, as well as his, that there's no surgery involved. Because he's had such a start to the season, the IBL leading scorer. And it'd be really good to have the big guns ready. Because the next few weeks, it's, it's going to get tough. And the exciting part is the, the fans are going to be able to watch this on Channel 11. FB TV. So looking forward to that. For Vancouver Television, yes. John McConnell and the rest of the crew working hard. Definitely working hard, and we just really appreciate what they're doing here. So here comes Michael Cooper. So there's my prediction for you. And he goes in for Tiefenthaler, who just got in. Did he get something? Knocked on his face or something? He's holding the side of his face. Oh, his I think it's just the... Did he get a stinger or something? I, I don't know. I was unaware if, that, if something happened. Gary, you're supposed to pay attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> My goodness, get off your phone. Porter Troop goes to the hole. Shake and bake is the PA announcer Kevin Clemenson announced. And now that puts the lead up to 101 to 68. 735 left in your Nakashima watch. Porter with the steal. Goes up ahead to Pip Bloodsoft. Ball is loose, but the Volcanoes maintain possession. So a few games the Volcanoes have left in the home schedule. Um, our final game, the last Sunday of June, Gary, is against Battle Creek, Michigan. They're 9-5 and five currently in the standings. We have our showdown with the Bellingham Slam in a couple weeks, who are 6-2. and two. Uh, Those games are always good here, Gary. Some of the best basketball you are going to see. Two very well-matched teams, and the crowd just loves it here for them. The Olympia Reign. Their first regular season last year was the branding season. Oh, yeah. Seven and two, Gary. Right. There, something special is going on there. And actually, they have the second leading scorer in the IBL playing for them. So if Murray's healthy, you'll see both the top scorers. So that should be pretty special. And uh, the Yamhill High Flyers, I'm thinking they come back once more, don't they, Gary? They, they do. And, and I'm impressed you said High Flyers the first time. <laughs> New game, new day, Gary. <laughs> They're seven and one. We're their only loss uh, our opening night, and we went back to their place uh, last week and lost in overtime. We go back to them next weekend also, but they come back once more. So, fans, there's some really good games to come out and see, and it's IBL action. The scores usually get up into the 120s, and just a lot of three pointers, a lot of wide open action. And it's just a good time here at the O'Connell Sports Center at Clark College. So. We'd love to have you guys come on out and, and be a part of the community. Well, a lot of people have, have uh, actually bought season tickets this uh, year, Mike. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could go on our website, VancouverVolcanoes.com, and there's a place where you can purchase the season tickets. And prices, anyone over 18 and over is five bucks, everyone else free. So are you a free or are you a $5 guy? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm either one, actually. He's got the Gary pricing, and that's $10 a game. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's always double. <laughs> you and me both. No respect. Right. No yeah, respect. Yeah. You're, you, you know, you're talking about the season, but keep in mind the team's going over to Japan August 5th through the 15th to play various uh, uh, JBL. That's their top division uh, professional teams over there, as well as the top college teams. So it'll be a good uh, look for our Volcano players, and hopefully catch on to one of those pro teams and uh, get a, a job over there. Well, and how is that working out, Gary? I know you've been talking to some players, need a resume, going to send it over. Is it a fact that they kind of get the resume and then they'll look at these guys when they come over and kind of put a name with the face? Or didn't you say last year they kind of got an idea when they played here in the IBL? Right, yeah, it's a little bit of both of that, uh, Mike. Uh, the good part is our, the contact over there was is now the uh, the former head coach of the uh, uh, Japanese team. Remember when they were in the IBL last year? Mm -hmm. Well, he's over there already talking to various teams and coaches because he knows the IBL, he knows the IBL players, but uh, more importantly, he's real familiar with the Volcano players. So uh, I'd be real shocked if uh, some of the players didn't catch on their uh, in in their professional league. That should be good stuff, Gary. And uh, thank you for the update on that. And of course, 
when China comes to town, of course, we'll talk about that a little more and kind of what, what their state of basketball is as well. Michael Cooper hit the technical foul shots there. It's 103-72 in favor of the Volcanoes. 5.45 left in the Nakashima watch <laughs> tonight. A three-pointer for the Hot Shots by 23, who is Hassan Stewart. No good. Just, just not his night tonight. He uh, Just not his night. I'm not quite sure what was happening there. Tyner pulls it out for the Volcanoes. Coming past that Cooper screen. There's a mismatch, but he goes up to oh. Michael Cooper. Very nice alley-oop. That was a bit of Alex Hartman in him. That was a bit of Alex Hartman in him. You know, if you look at production minutes, Cooper's in the game. What he's done, I bet you the real high percentage. Definitely, definitely, Gary. Uh, just, just very impressive. Makes it work. At the other end, that is Ricky Lott getting a hoop for the Hot Shots, 105-74. Five minutes left in the Nakashima watch. Boy, it's almost like we should have a sign. We want Ken. We want Ken. I think Ken. so. I really think so. Or we should have a, um, a font on the screen <laughs> or something like that. We, we need to show him some love, Gary. Yeah, we do. We show him some love. It takes a lot to come to a whole different country for the whole season and to practice and go through the rigors and all that. And the minutes might not be what he was getting over in Japan because wasn't he one of the leading players over there? Well, on the, on the Japan team last year, he was their starting point guard. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I talked to uh, Ken before the game and asked him, I know your playing time is limited here. How do you feel about that? But he thoroughly enjoys the players here. He likes the practices. And, and he said, you know, despite the lack of minutes, he'd like to be a Volcano again uh, next season. Serious. Seriously. That, that's fantastic. Well, and the thing is, Gary, you, the thing you see in him is you kind of see the the innocence, the wonder of it all. <laughs> right. And sometimes we as people forget that. And you don't have to be five or six to to maintain that sometimes. Yeah. So I, I, I really like that his enthusiasm for the whole experience. And I think it kind of rubs off on the guys too. Tyner loses the ball up, Lot knocks the ball away, but it is the hot shots of basketball. And what Ken also shared with me that the, the Vancouver BC Titans picked up uh, Daisuke Tamura, who was on that Japanese team last year. They just picked him up like uh, a few days ago. Serious? Yeah, so he'll be flying over to join the, uh, the Titans. Will it be a similar kind of role that uh, Ken's playing here, or is, what do you know? You know uh, that's that? all I know at this point, but uh, hopefully next game I'll have some more information well, on that. Well, and we're seeing the, the BC Titans here once, I think, on our home schedule as well, <laughs> remaining, so... Uh, we owe them because last year we lost when they came here into town. Uh, this year they're going to be here Friday, June 4th. And 4.14 left in your Nakashima watch. That's pretty much the story we're going to be hammering on for the rest of this broadcast. So stick around. Your Vancouver Volcanoes 106, the Central Oregon Hot Shots 74. Welcome back to Clark College. It is the finale of this game between the Vancouver Volcanoes and the visiting Central Oregon Hotshots. And looking at the rest of the schedule, Gary, we were kind of talking about that, so we wanted to kind of talk to you the rest about it. Coming up next Friday, which will be May 28th, it'll be the Oregon Waves. And then Friday, June 4th, the Vancouver BC Titans, like we talked about. Saturday, June 5th, the Olympia Reign, their first full year of uh, playing IBL competition. Fantastic start to those guys. Friday, June 11th, the Tacoma Tide come in. A big rival from us from year one, six years ago. Tacoma's had a franchise. I think it's uh, us, them, and the Hot Shots have the longest franchises in the league. And then Saturday, June 12th, the big one against the Bellingham Slam. Great basketball, those guys there. Rob Ridnauer is the coach, Luke Ridnauer's dad. They used to play in the ABL before they came over to the IBL. And just fantastic players. A lot of them out of Western Washington University. And then the final weekend, Saturday, June 26, against the Oregon Waves once again. Or that could be China if they get into the Correct. country. And then our finale, Sunday, June 27, against the Battle Creek oh, yeah. Knights out of Michigan. So it's always kind of fun to see someone farther away in the IBL make the road trip out here. Last year, the Holland Blast came out for the end of the year. And we blasted them so right right we'll see what happens but 
out of looking at that, Gary, what do you think the pivotal games are? I think the pivotal games, of course, Vancouver, BC, Titans are always a tough team. But I think uh, the dark horse contenders are really the, the Olympia reign are just shocking everybody. And then, of course, the Oregon Waves are going to be our, our travel game. So really, there's no gimme games here. And talk about the Nakashima watch. There he is, Ken Nakashima. 337 left, and Yuskoski, very nice effort tonight. Same thing that what we've been expecting. And boy, just a great player, good guy too. Fantastic person, it seems. Troop up ahead. The ball is turned over, and here come your hot shots leading the way. It's Desi Crisp over to Jordan Gregg. Down to Crisp for the turnaround. No. Magnuson, no. Gregg gets it back. The ball is loose. Tyner connects, and here comes. You got Alex Hartman going over to Ken. Nakashima pulls the ball back out and goes to Tyner to reset the play. Yeah, Gary, he wanted that ball back. He's ready for the three. He's ready. Tyner, though, pull-up jumper, no good, but he is fouled by Ricky Lott. And now what we have in the game, you got two point guards, really two, two uh, true point guards, extreme quickness, and, uh, of course, Ken can hit the three because Japan last year, that was pretty much their, their team hitting three-pointers. Well, that game, Kerry, was one of the weirdest things I've ever witnessed because they just all sat, all five of them sat at the three line. And they launched. They just come down. They would not set up. There, the offense was hoisted, and they were up on us like 12 to three, I think, right out of the gate before things settled down. But and they were excited, Gary. They oh, yeah. were they were pumped, and I, I give them a lot of credit because, like we were talking about last week, when your tall guy's six five, trying to guard Bryson, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, I remember when they had four of the J Japanese players surrounding. Uh, Bryson in a box. <laughs> oh yeah, and they still wouldn't. Oh, yeah. They still wouldn't call a foul, and they were clawing and hacking on him. <laughs> right. and it didn't matter. It, it didn't impede his progress at all. Magnuson hits it for the hot shot. 107-76 as the game's winding down. Porter Troop leans in with that left hand that we've seen for so many years. Fouled on the play. Yeah, yeah it's good to see Ken in there. Uh, and just uh, you know when he when he plays. He gets back home. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to, you know, take him home after the games, uh -huh. and then he's instantly on his own. He has his own website, and then he uh, has someone here that, that's YouTubing, and then uh, the highlights from the games are back in Japan. It goes all over Japan, Mike. Believe it or not, uh, these games, uh, thanks to uh, Channel 11 TV, TV on YouTube, and then you and I are on the games mm -hmm. as well. So. Good exposure for the Volcanoes. Well, it's funny because we had a few minutes of our very first game on YouTube. And um, my son and I, Gary, were looking to see where it was watched over the world. And there was this little blip that was Japan. <laughs> All right, speaking of Japan, Ken gets it, but he pulls it back out to Troop. He, he's back out to three, Gary. <laughs> Give me the ball. Instead, Hartman gets it. Three is no good. Yeah, Gary, he likes that three. He lights up when he gets on that three line. Lean in by Crisp, no good. Cooper gets the rebound up ahead to Tyner. Over to Hartman. Hartman gets past Greg, hits Nakashima, over to Troop. No good, Crisp with the rebound. So yeah, it was very interesting, Gary, that just those few minutes of us, right? Right. That, that it, where it was seen, because it was in Japan, and then it was like in another I think Alaska or something. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really odd. <laughs> you, YouTube and the internet, it's truly worldwide. I mean, it, it, it's it just is. funny how you can connect with just about anybody these days. Yeah, well, and the volcano's going over there in August, uh, August 5th to the 15th. I mean, believe it or not, right now we are starting to be a household name over there. Thank Seriously? Yeah, I'm serious. Seriously. Yep, so I'm not just saying that. Of American teams. You're not joshing me. This is true, huh? <laughs> I got, it was Ken. <laughs> well, and Ken, he's looking. Goes behind the back to Cooper. Cooper going to make his move on Magnuson. No good, but Cooper's staying with it. Fouled by Jordan Gregg. Well, and the thing is, are you going to bring some Volcanoes apparel over then when you take the road trip with the team, or what's that look like? 
Oh yeah, we're we're definitely gonna take yeah, some T-shirts and shirts. And, you, and have you got the order 